Hi, this is DarkFox127. As you can see, I'm using my new webcam so you can see me. Uh, we're on a tutorial today, and guess what? It's another Skyrim one. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to make traps. I'm going to show you how to do sort of doors to open and close them with levers, and I'm going to show you like uh, traps that you walk on, so a pressure plate to shut a door, or a swinging mace when you hit a pressure plate. So to get started, we're going to want to open up our Skyrim and update ESM files. Uh, you can just use the Skyrim ESM. I use the update one because it's there. And because I'm editing a mod I've already got, I'm going to double click my test mod, which is the one I want. And this is pretty important for people out there because people have complained about things going missing, work that they've done the previous day. Uh, you have to set it as active file. So make sure you do that. Click OK and just let that load. OK, there we go. Now it's loaded. Um, you're not going crazy. The screen has changed colour. Uh, Windows theme kicked off, even though this thing's got like 8 gig of RAM. It seems to think it needs to kick the theme off because it's struggling, which it isn't. So, uh, we'll get started. Uh, I'm just going to really get annoyed because this won't remember that I want this damn thing that wide. Okie dokie. We need to go to test there. This is my own little dungeon. Now I've just created it for testing purposes and just to show you how to do things. And as you can see, we've got a big door here that we uh, we want to put something in. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do the door first. And you want to navigate your way through the menus depending on what dungeon you're doing. And you're going to want to find a portcullis that has this specific white sort of symbol on it. Otherwise it's not going to work. I'm going to go with a port cullis large, so make sure you got snap to grid on like I didn't have there. Um, and then you just want to fit the door in there. All you need now is a lever, so we're going to go into levers. Simple lever, what's a simple lever? Oh, as simple as you get, nice and brown and horrible. So you're going to want to put that somewhere, you'll probably in your own dungeon, you'll want that hidden, put away somewhere, put it on the wall, you can spin it around, put it wherever you want. I'm just going to put it there to make things easy. And I'm going to put one the other side as well, so I'm going to duplicate that, spin my camera around, and I'm going to put it the other side. Now what we want is both of these levers to basically just activate the door, it's as simple as that. So we're going to double click on the door, and under the tab Active Parents, you're going to double click that, select Reference, and double click on your lever. Click OK, OK. And then all you want to do is exactly the same for the other lever. Oh, wrong one, got to click the door. And as you can see, there's the active parent for the other one, and it says delay, so you can actually have a delay from when you press the lever, or walk on a pressure plate, whatever you're linking to it, so that it could be like five seconds, and then the door slams shut. So you could sort of do it like you're standing on a pressure plate, you'll think it hasn't done anything, and then by the time you get to the door, it shuts on you. Uh, we're not going to do that now. But we're going to want to add uh, another link reference, and it's going to be that one. And as you can see, we've got two now linked to that door. You could do a pressure plate, so I'm not going to do that now. You can try that out yourself. And that should basically open that door. So we'll see that when we're going to, uh, to test the game out. Uh, next thing we're going to want, we're going to want sort of like just at these stairs, we're going to want, um, let's go with a tripwire and a swinging mace. And this is going to please you greatly. Uh, your work is cut out a lot here. Uh, if you type in warehouse within interiors, you'll come to a list of warehouse cells. And basically what the creators have done is they've put a lot of um, what you're going to need, like all the confusing stuff like mannequins, bookshelves, furniture, all, all sort of activation things as well. All, all that has been put into these warehouses so that you can just copy and paste it. And the link references get dragged with that stuff as long as you've managed to make sure that you've selected everything and we've got one for traps amazingly so if we just go and load that up I'm just going to tell you to save regular here so I've got that saved now and as you can see in this lovely dungeon here which is made of all sorts of wonderful pieces uh, we have pretty much every trap in the game and you're probably going to look at this and think what the f you know but if you really have a good look at it and you've played the game an awful lot and you've walked into a lot of traps as I have then you'll probably start to recognize a lot of them and it's it's nice to see how they actually work it's kinda cool 
Uh, there's a lot of simple ones and there's a lot of confusing ones and the confusing ones and detailed ones they're the ones that you're just going to want to copy everything and then paste in and I'm going to show you that with a sort of a boss activation thing in a moment but the one that we're just going to go with first and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you how they've done it which is just the same as the door we've got a tripwire here and as you walk through you activate the tripwire obviously and then this mace here if you can see that that'll swing down and hit you in the face and all it is once again active parent double click select reference and the tripwire and that's all they've done but to make this easier for us we're just going to try and select the tripwire and the mace which are the only two parts of this right click and copy or control and C up to you and then we're going to make our way back to our test dungeon zoom out and then we're going to just put it into um, into put into our own sort of thing as you can see I've actually sort of got the um, the wrong kind of piece there uh, or have I now I'll leave that it doesn't matter if it doesn't look very good but as you can see it's sort of a log on that piece now that would be good for like those uh, swinging log sort of traps so it comes down each in the face and it looks connected to that that would be great control and V we're just going to copy this in and you just basically want to you probably want to drag it into the void for a moment and then you can select the pieces individually and then put them into where you need them so where the hell's my mace gone so I'm going to drag my mace it'll keep linked to it don't worry about that grab my mace drag it up a little bit and I'm just going to maneuver that into position and hopefully have that where I need it be really awkward to do actually to be quite honest with you I've got to be really careful not to start moving other objects so we want to drag that down a bit and really just put that where it needs to go and it's probably going to take a bit of testing going in and out of the game and activating the wire just to make sure that things work nicely <coughs> that trip wire is very annoying to try and grab <coughs> and now my throat's going wonky so we will hurry the hell up okay let's just get that in the middle more or less <coughs> place it down a bit there we go now you've got a trip wire <coughs> for god's sake that's better right <coughs> no it isn't right let's go with well that should work now um yeah we will see that again when we test the game so we're going to open our door we're going to close our door behind us we're going to walk through the tripwire and get hit in the face so okay so there we go uh, i've made a little room uh, it's a bit crappy to be honest but uh, we're basically going to uh, we're going to go down here and then we're going to walk into a boss uh, that sort of portcullis is just going to have black ahead of it but it really doesn't matter this is just a test room and we're going to make our way back to our warehouse with our traps no not with our traps we're going to go to a warehouse with ambushes in it get any warnings like that just go yes to all and we're going to zoom out and we should see one that we want through here somewhere it's not the one that we want there we go we're going to want like a, a sarcophagus that is what they call it, yeah. So, you're going to want this, and basically you'll have seen this before, uh, not with the markers and everything, but in a dungeon, I'm sweating, in a dungeon you'd have seen this before where you appear in a room and then bang, you get the boss jump out of his, his sarcophagus and try and eat you. So, that's basically what we're going to use here, and you just want to make sure that you select all of the parts, so hold down control and then just click on all these parts. Uh, in this case there's what how many parts let's just double check that one two three four five yep yeah. five parts and you want to go ahead and copy that control and C again or just right click and copy and we're just going to put this right into our dungeon now so we're going to go into test we're going to right click and paste and it will paste it wherever your cursor is lying over we're going to move this up we're going to drag it into the void for now and then we're going to grab all the pieces that we want to slowly place in again so we're just going to grab these let's put our sarcophagus in front of this doorway here 
turn off snap to grid is usually a good idea here as well and then the blue part here that's basically going to be the activator so when you walk through the door and you hit that then it'll start off the uh, the animation so you're probably going to want to snap this to grid and we're just going to make this fill the room and bring it just up to the door so as you enter it sort of activates so you're going to want to make sure you drag that out only needs to be rough really and you want to drag that across it as well so as you enter the room that should actually activate now the M over here if you're familiar with sort of actors and stuff you'll know that that is a sort of weak actor so you'd actually want this to be a boss so if we just take that off there floor that you can tap M to get rid of the markers so you can easily place this by the way that's what I've just done uh, you want him pointing this way, it doesn't really matter where you put him because he'll be placed um, sort of ahead of this sarcophagus anyway, or he should be. Yeah. And that is actually it. Uh, there's a lot more traps available, obviously, and all that that you can just uh, copy and paste. So really, you don't need to know how to do it, you just want to copy and paste and then move the parts correctly. And so what I want to do with this guy is control and F. And you just want to replace him with sort of like a, a boss figure I'm not going to bother with that because I don't want to get killed when I'm trying to test it but uh, that that is basically it for traps so I'm just going to nip in game and I'm going to show you all that hopefully working and I'll see you in a moment okay so here we are we have arrived in our dungeon now you'll have to ignore the stuff at the top left uh, we've got our door here so if we press this lever it should open and if you press the other lever it should close they should actually activate that sort of both ways. There you go. Lever's sort of um, not actually pulling there. I have to check that out. It's probably the type of lever I've actually chosen. Uh, we should be able to deactivate this trap if we wanted. That same thing will happen if you walk through it. So that works nicely. And as we walk through this door, the drow should pop out of his sarcophagus and try to kill us. There you go. Got one with a helmet on as well. As it's uh, randomised. There you go. So uh, all works nicely. Uh, you can obviously put a lot more detail into your own dungeon and a lot more inventive, interesting traps. And you can pretty much just copy them from the warehouse. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And I will speak to you next time.